Here we go. Cars in line stretches over a mile in Texas. Yeah, food bank. AP News. And don't let them uh, fool you that uh, invisible enemy Cerveza bug fucking did this to you. They did it. Just remember that. People in government did this by shutting the world down. They're going to cause starvation. Homelessness even more. You can't remember. Nothing. And I mean literally nothing the government people do is good for the people. Because you always have criminals at the helm. I mean, it, it, it's a den of thieves, people. Call Washington, D.C., where the bankers and their little side cronies that play the, the game for you in front of the TV. Yeah, on the media. And the media is involved with it, too. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. They own the media, so they tell the media what to say and what to do and how to act and how to jump. But don't blame this on the coronavirus. Don't even dare. And don't let them dare make you believe that that's the reason they did this. Just think about it. And I've been saying this before. All of the things they wrote up to put into plan that they started doing day two, on day two, on March 14th. Just remember this. When they shut the world down, it wasn't the government's doing it. It was the world corporations telling the government what to do. So that means you don't have a voice in the matter whatsoever. How do you make you, how does that make you feel, America? That you actually literally got stabbed in the back by, again, the corporate oligarchs screwing you, bending you over and opening that butthole up and remeaning it. Just imagine that. A big fucking red, white, and blue dick going up in, in and out of your, your ass, screwing the shit out of you because that's what they're doing. And you're going to pay for it. You just paid $6.2 trillion more. To them. Yeah. And what'd you get out of it? 1200 bucks. <laughs> and not a job anymore. Because most likely you're not going to have a job to go back to still. Even if they're opening the country up with restrictions. Don't worry about that. With more infringements. But you think that these people are here to help you. And again, you should have been stringing these people up and hanging them from those telephone poles. Do you know that? Right now, there should be a politician and a banker and a big corporate person that owns all of these big corporations swinging from a telephone pole. And you guys using them as piñatas to get the money out of them. That's what you should be doing. Go get your money back. Go get, back. Go get what they have stolen from you back. Because right now, this is the biggest robbery they've ever done so far on a global scale. People, you should be angry. You should be very, and I mean very angry what they did to you. They attacked you. Big fucking time. I hope you realize that. You were just attacked financially again, just like in 2008. They financially attacked you and you sucked it up, bent over, grabbed your ankles and took it like a good little boy and a good little girl. When are you going to be brave enough? When are we going to be brave enough to actually storm these houses and take these people and swing them from trees? Because that's what it's going to take. Because they believe in their minds, ladies and gentlemen. They can get away with anything and everything and, and they're not going to get in trouble and they're untouchable until you prove to them, society, they are very touchable. Nothing's going to change. So change it, America, world. Wake up. Be brave. Yes, make it a brave new world for them. Running. And hiding like a, a scared little animal. 